If you remember from the previous case of papillary carcinoma of the ureter, the papillary structures looked very well formed and therefore it was probably a lower grade tumor. Well, here is another papillary tumor but it is of the bladder now, the same type of epithelium as the ureter or the pelvis or the calyces. And in this case, the uh, papillarity or the papillosity or the papillariness of the uh, tumor is not appreciated that much, is it? Oh, I think you could see that there is some uh, general connective tissue and you can see that they're surrounded by these darker bluer tumor cells. But in this case, you don't see nice well-formed papilla and therefore you would not expect it to be as low grade as the previous one that we saw. And not only is this not lower grade, but it's also doing something that the other one didn't do either. And it is truly invading the smooth muscle of the bladder wall. Here is an area of necrosis. Here is an area where these tumor cells are invading the smooth muscle. And in addition, the transitional cell tum uh, tumor cells do not look as nice as they did than in the one where we had nice form papilla. In addition, you can see that's an abnormal mitosis. There's a Mercedes-Benz. There's a mitosis that wants to go in probably three different directions. There's another probable abnormal mitosis. And look how these tumor cells infiltrate these smooth muscle fibers. Um, I want to show you one more thing about this case. So you know that this is a higher grade, perhaps if you want to call it three or four transitional cell carcinoma. Papillae are not discerned easily. The tumor cells diffusely invade all of these pink or muscle fibers here. And in addition, when you look at this, you might say, hey, is that a little piece of tumor out there beyond the bladder wall and the fat as well? Well, let's blow it up and see if it is. No, it's not. It's just a normal little lymph node, isn't it? It could have been tumor, or it could have been tumor inside the lymph node, but in this case, this is just a little lymph node. Let's look at the other one as well that was next to it. And once again, I think I can convince you this is all lymphoid tissue. So even though this tumor may have uh, metastasized to the lymph nodes, we don't see anything in this field in particular that shows uh, extent of the tumor beyond the muscular wall of the bladder or into the surrounding perivesical fat. We do see that the tumor, however, goes very deeply into the wall and has disrupted all of these uh, smooth muscle fibers here and here and here. But this is a, a deeply invasive, uh, high-grade or poorly differentiated barely papillary transitional cell carcinoma of the part of the urothelium that is in the bladder. Thank you very much.